Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. Daniel and I just became giants. <laughs> Look at this. Think about this. <laughs> I'm huge. Look at this normal bottle in my big meaty paws. Right. Here, hand me said bottle. Ah. 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 We shall drink whiskey together. <laughs> <laughs> We're such idiots. <laughs> We were given a very special gift. Uh, Jacob Beresoff, in the mail, mailed us three small bottles. Oh, you're attaching. A lovely human being. Do you being. need a hand? <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> a lovely human being, Jacob. He mailed us three bottles of Ardbeg Cory Vrecken. Ardbeg, have I had this? No. Is this a special art bag? Yes. This is a new well, art bag? It's part of the, what they call their ultimate collection, which is like their classic line. Yeah. Art bag is famous for doing special releases, then they disappear. Then they do another special release, and it stays up for a while, then it disappears. They do a committee release. They just released a new one called um, uh, Kelpie. So also known as a whiskey, Kelpie, cool. a whiskey tease. Yeah, they're, but every single one of them is awesome. Art bag, what Jacob didn't know is art bag is one of my favorite distilleries. Yeah. Because uh, they're freaking awesome. Um, I do have the tin, I have the coupe, I have the perpetuum, and I've got the space one, which I can't remember what it's called. And, um, and we have the Ugadol, um, but, but I don't have a bottle of the Cory Vrecken in, in the vault right now. So, a generous human being, what have we done to compensate him for Well, I did mail him a return present that I think he will appreciate. He knows what it is. Alright. So uh, or he will when he gets it. It's related to your story. Yeah, it's related to the story he wrote, which is why he sent us these miniature bottles. Uh, all you need to know is Jacob is a golden specimen of manhood. Yes. And a fine human being. Daniel will have and, your babies. And we each got our own. Daniel will have your babies. I will have your babies. Um, <laughs> what is special about this art bag? This other is... Other than it's like a, a funky name. Well, the name is named after a it's giant a whirlpool. That happens in the arbor by the Ardbeg Distillery. Yeah. It's famous. Lots of shipwrecks down there. Um, all kinds of different things. Um, it's the probably... Wow, that's a lot. If we're going to do more videos. Oh, okay. We'll save this one. Wait. That may mean I didn't get enough. No, I know that. Oh, that was decent. Okay. I'm I good. Still, I, still no. got, I still got more. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Fast thinking. Now, I only split that one, Jacob, because we need to do more videos after this. And by the way... If you're watching this video, you already took the poll over who would win the tube sock. Yep. The tube sock and nothing else. And nothing else. And uh, so, um, the reason we're not announcing the winner in this video mm -hmm. is because we shot these before we did the poll. Because right. I'm leaving town for four days. And so, uh, the next time you see us wearing different clothes, that's when we'll announce the winner. Right. I, although, I'll be wearing the same clothes. Next time you see Rex wearing something different. Yeah, you always wear the black shirt. I always wear the black shirt. It's your uniform. It makes an easy fashion choice <laughs> when I get up in the morning. All right, Man, this so is I'm getting, so good already. You know what? This is Ard leather. It's Ardbeggy. Leather and vanilla. Vanilla leather. For whiskey noobs, this is challenging into the spectrum. Yeah, this is not a beginner whiskey. Not entry level. Unless you just have... Although we have several viewers who say they started yeah. with smoky whiskey and fell right. in love. And that shocks me. But if you're one of those people, then you'll probably so like this it's one. It's starter if you really like the challenging stuff. If you want something friendly, this is not... You know what this is? This is um, peppered bacon. Mm. You know when you go when you get the black pepper uh, chopped... Or what do you call it? Cracked pepper bacon? Yeah. That's the best bacon. <laughs> when I get the best bacon? Mmm. Ooh, it totally is peppery. But I'm always surprised by these really legendary, iconic, challenging scotches. How sweet From, they are. Yes, that front end sweetness. Because like, oh man, it's so smoky and it's so just hard and it peppery is and spicy berries. And, and, and earthy, but you just got that sweetest sweetness floating all throughout. Which, um, yeah. 57% alcohol. Both ends of the spectrum just Woo! kind of fighting for dominance. Oh, I already... Because I don't have to hunt for that sweetness. It's prominent. no, no. It's it's dominant. It's well. I'm, I wouldn't say dominant. I would say prominent. Mm. I think you're right. Yeah, the smokiness. That's no, but the more I drink it, the less the smoke attacks me. You get acclimated, and the, and the sweeter it gets. So I'd say on first sip, smoke is in charge. Mm -hmm. By the time you get to third or fourth, I think the sweetness starts lingering. What it's the, still a lot of heat in the base of my throat. What did the water do? About to find out. Man, the 
pepper, black pepper. It really is peppercorn, like the chunk of peppercorn pepper. Mm -hmm. Not like a shaker, mm -hmm. but like, man, you just got a chunk of peppercorn on that bacon or and a steak. You know what it is? It's a dry rub peppercorn steak. Yeah, I love, I love hard bacon. Oh, that made it really smooth and all the aggression went away. It highlighted the sweetness. This may find a place. That whole bottle? It's wee. It is wee. But if you start doing that, you're going to get really heavy really quickly. I am muscular and strong and... You're a beast of a man. <laughs> <laughs> a specimen. That's what they call me, a specimen. Fine specimen. <laughs> yeah, I like this a lot, man. And kudos now, to... Now, okay, I will say... The let's, Jacob let's with his generosity. Cheers to you. The levels, uh, they call the levels of entry into Ardbeg are the tin, the Ugadol, and then the most complex being the Cory Vrecken. Yep. So I'm going to try the tin. Okay. While you do that, Shelby Dog, Rex needs to compliment the ceremonial mooch necklace by adding a championship sommelier belt, a la the WWE. So just a massive... <laughs> Back to the real subject of the idea. site. Do the experts think that private whiskey blenders like Compass Box or Duncan Taylor produce juice that is as good or even better than the distilleries themselves? Okay, you try the tin, which is all candy compared to the Cory Vrecken while I answer that which question. Is, which is the tin? I think it depends on the distillery. Is this Ardbeg? Yeah, it's Ardbeg tin. This is like coming off of the... I know. Wow, it's so friendly and sweet. It's so pretty. Um, okay, so here's the thing. Uh, comparing Compass Box to the distilleries themselves, no, because Compass Box is creating something so its own thing right. that there's no re reasonable A-B comparison. Um, you can't compare Dalmore to, uh, you know, a Sila. Sure. Because they're not trying to do the same thing at all, or any whiskey to a Sila. A Sila Compass Box is after their own vision and their accomplishment. You can't compare the... Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm trying to see how long blood I can out of get this. I'm gonna feel like Monty Python. Gonna sli right I'm now, it's gonna start. My eyes gonna fall out. Blood's gonna start squirting right, across. It's me. right there, right now. It's it really getting, is. It's getting super far. close. How comfortable. Ah, oh, <laughs> kind of tickled. <laughs> um, now, here's the thing about Duncan Taylor. I will say this. I think depending on the distillery mm -hmm. and the year, mm -hmm. I have found Signatory and Duncan Taylor and Eddie Ratray versions of a distillery's whiskey that were one of my favorite expressions of that distillery. Um, one example of that is, where is it? Right, so Cadenhead. The Cadenhead Akintoshin right. is awesome. They do a 15-year-old Akintoshin, Cadenhead, yeah. and I really love it. It's not as good. Yeah, you can try this one. It's not what as good. Doing? Hold it up. Hold it up. What are you doing? For I'm me? making an offer for you. They can't see what I just did. I'm they camera. got nut dust on them. They do. I put nut dust what? in my comments. I didn't shove it down inside my pants. <laughs> Between my knees. They're dusted. Okay. Uh, anyway, so I think the answer is with Compass Box, no. Because when you're blending whiskeys, you're not trying to repeat a distillery. Right. But when you're doing special edition bottlings where it is just one That's distillery, so clear. then absolutely it's very possible for someone's favorite expression from a distillery to be not something that distillery did on their own. Okay, so time for an uninformed, question, answer. uninformed opinion. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, With, but while you're doing that, I'm going to go from 10 to Ugadol. Okay. Uh, blends and basically the distillery coming out with their own stuff. I think... More often than not, a distillery is going to come out with something that's going to be better than most blends because they have to have so much more patience and discipline to get it right. I think they are probably more intentional about every single step. With blends, though, I think they have more potential to come up with something more amazing more quickly because they're experimenting, they're adding stuff, and they're not limited to what they're creating in between. So I would say yes... Uh, and no, but mostly yes to both of those things. Mm -hmm. So I'd say they're both equally focused, but on very, very different ways. Yeah. So I would say both of them are extremely focused on the taste profile they're creating, but they're working with different palettes. The distillery, you said, you get the questioning or the statement is, here's what you have to work with. Right. 
and here's what you need to recreate. Yeah. And they have to work really hard to get there, mm -hmm. right? Although when you get people like Ardbeg creating one-off special editions, yeah. that's when a master distiller gets to spread his wings yeah. and go, given my resources, right. look what I came up with, right? Now a blender gets to start with the whole world of whiskey at his disposal, right. the whole color palette, right. and say, with everything at my disposal, what would I like to create? And that's the same talent, okay. different focus. Do blenders more often create friendlier things because they're going for what's going to sell? Or are they going for, I just want to make something amazing, interesting, cool, unique? I think the answer is both. Now, Compass Box, I think, is almost always focused on something unique. Okay. Um, the, but the not, necessarily, like, not necessarily for the smoothest, friendliest, no, just selling it to the masses. No, because they're doing specialty. He's looking for the magical flavor. Okay. Now, but, you know, Doers and Shivas, these guys are looking to make whiskey friendly. Mm. This is good. I'm surprised at how clear this is. This is, is the middle ground. This is Ugadol. I had never even heard Ardbeg that. Ugadol. Oh. This is considered like the second of the how ultimate collection. How many Ardbegs are there? Well, there's dozens and dozens, but of their prime, their prime collection, yeah, there's definitely three. in between the tin and this Cory Reckon. Now, Cory Reckon. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what do you prefer? Uh, man? Of the three? Here's the thing. I kind of like the Cory Vrecken. No, that's that's nice and all. But what amazed me is coming fresh off the heels of the Cory Oh, how Vrecken, friendly the tin was. How friendly the tin was. The tin and is really Ardbeg friendly. is legendary for being challenging. That's like saying Tom... Uh, that's like saying... Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, the singer... Uh, who does... Have I told you lately? Like Van Morrison. Sure. It's like... Has a smooth voice. Right? Or he's got a rough voice. Van Morrison, he has a rough voice until you listen to Tom Waits. Right. And you're like, no, Van Morrison has a smooth voice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, it's like getting sprayed with a can of pepper spray and then going to Tabasco. I was like, oh, this is not, this this is is not bad. Yeah. <laughs> mm. All right. Liam Rockford. Uh, so I had a guest that drank me out of Glenfiddich. It's not called a guest, it's called a bastard. <laughs> Over a few visits to my bar. <laughs> <laughs> and I was dismayed that we were out. And then I tried to pour him some Stranaki. Stranaki. Stranaki tan where he exclaimed it was too young. And he only likes 18 year and older whiskeys. Yeah. Again, bastard. I didn't have the heart to tell him that. <sighs> Uh, tell him that he was drinking and raving about the Glenfiddich 12. So I pointed him to some, <laughs> of, some of the uh, our more premium scotches, i.e. Talisker's Distiller's Edition, Lagavulin, uh, Lagavulin oh, Distiller's so Edition, yeah. Open Distiller's Edition. Again, yes. Octomore 6.1 and so on. I was told they were all too peaty for him. Octomore, yeah. no shit. So he doesn't like smoky whiskey. Yeah, and then he suggested we get Bunahabin 18 for him. No wonder he wanted Glenfiddich. This guy sounds like me. Just... Go get these things for me, and I will drink them. Maybe he was tricking you by getting you to pour him all of these whiskeys. <laughs> right. No. While you try to convince him, the whole time he's like, hey. Well, the more I read this, the more I'm like, this is some This guy's a master mooch. This guy's got some mooch skills. <laughs> <laughs> Dance for me, puppet. <laughs> I then understood after seeing your episode about said whiskey that he really didn't like Pete. I agreed that I wish we had Boonahobin 18, that we didn't. So instead I gave him the classic Laddie from Brooklodic, and he uh, loved it. So a question. Unpeated Brooklodic. For a scotch lover of this type, what else could you recommend to my understanding? Something in the Speyside area might be what he was looking for. Yeah. Though I will say I talked to him about both Dalmore and McLaughlin, and he said they were both well, overrated. Well, he might, have, he might have been talking about McAllen. He said they were overrated. Yeah. Mark, first of all, why are you trying to please this guy that's drinking all your whiskeys? Yeah, that you're the kind of bartender. Say, no, 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 that's nice. You're the kind of bartender that people should like make a statue in your honor. Right. Because you're working so hard and pouring so much amazing whiskey for this guy. Right. Who's really just f***ing with you. <laughs> right. You're a, you're a gift. Uh, but you may have gotten work. I want to go to his bar. I know, me too. Yes. Uh, you know, I would say Tamdu, uh, Glenn Grant, Glenn Farkless. Yeah. Um, I would say Glenn Livet might be a little aggressive, but. Glenn Livet? Only mildly. Well, if you didn't like Dalmore or McGowan, then he's not going to like what Balvini, absolutely. Um, Cardew would be great. Cardew is the single malt that's at the base of a lot of Johnny Walker blends. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there's so many. Highland Park? Uh, no, no, no. It's going to be too briny. Too too rich. Really? Yeah, go back and try it again someday. Okay. 
Yeah. Some other day. Yeah, we'll do that. No. Sure. Just no. glasses. No, no, no. You've already got one I didn't even get to this drink. Is dangerously You've low. You've already got 15 year old Akintoshin. Special edition, might I add. Dangerously low. What did you think about that, by the way? It's lovely. It's, it is. Look how it? clear that is. It is. It's almost like water. Well, you know, they didn't add any coloring to it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Safety first. All right, you want to know? All right. Uh, is it short? Yeah. Okay. No, um, okay. Uh, sure. We're at 12 minutes. 14 minutes. We're at 14. Let's save it for tomorrow. Oh, good God. Why are you still here? I know. We're not 14 minutes in if you're still we're watching. We're not attractive. We're not funny. Well, speak for yourself. <laughs> I'm hilarious. Yeah. You know, I wanted to tell you, you are my favorite funny person and you're beautiful. And this is when I kill you. <laughs> so you can go out on the high note. Uh, it's like gonna, you're doing it for me. Yeah, yeah. Take him one for the team. Yeah. Just uh, okay. <laughs> wrap the tube sock around your neck and just chuck yeah, you there. I I think you're funny. Yeah. I think you're funny. Right, bad news is. I think you're funny. Bad news is I'm murdering you. Good yeah. news is you're gonna feel pretty good about yourself while it happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As he's choking me, I'm just like smiling. <laughs> Rex cares. <laughs> Maybe too much. All right. <laughs> Till tomorrow, man. Crazy day this side illegal. Hey, you return before we have time to miss you. Cheers. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the whiskey vault. Don't forget to throw in a like. Hit that subscribe button on the bottom right and drop a question or comment down below.